Hello children, welcome to your maths class. In the previous video, we learnt about what are fractions, denominator and numerator. In today's video, we will learn how to shade the fractions and how to name the fractions. Representing fractions in figures. Now here some figures are given to us and we have to represent the given fraction in these figures. The first one is 1 by 2. That is all the figures are divided into two equal parts and out of that we have to shade one part as the numerator is 1. The second one it is 1 by 3. Now in this all the figures are divided into 3 equal parts and we have to shade one part out of it as in this case also numerator is 1. And the third one it is 1 by 4. All the figures are divided into 4 equal parts and we have to shade one out of it as the numerator is 1. When representing the fractions on a given figure, we shade the number of parts which are represented in the numerator. Let's do it here. Like this, we color, we can color any part of the figure but it has to be 1 because in all the cases the numerator is 1. Let's take a small quiz in which we have to identify the fractions in the given figure. Now here in this given figure the equal parts are 4. So in the given options we will check which options have denominator as 4? Out of all the 4 options, these two have denominator 4. Now to choose the correct option, we will see the shaded part in this given figure. In this given figure, it is one shaded part. So that means the numerator has to be 1. Numerator 1 and denominator 4. So the correct option is 1 by 4. Coming to the next figure, this figure is divided into two equal parts and out of that one is shaded. So that means the numerator should be 1 and denominator should be 2. So the correct fraction would be 1 by 2. Coming to the third one, the third figure is divided into three equal parts. So denominator should be 3 and out of that two are shaded. Or colored in yellow. So we have to choose a numerator 2 and denominator 3. So fraction will be 2 by 3. This is the correct fraction 2 by 3. Next figure divided into 4 equal parts and out of that 3 are shaded. That means numerator is 3 and denominator is 4. Correct fraction 3 by 3. 4. Last one, 3 total parts and out of that 2 are shaded. So the correct fraction is 2 by 3. Writing the fractions in words. When we write the fraction in words, we use ordinal numbers for the denominator. For example, here the numerator is 3 and denominator is 5. So this fraction will be named as 3 fifths and represented like this in the given figure total parts 5 and shaded parts 3. Next one 7 by 8. It will be written as 7 eighths. The numerator is written in normal whole number and the denominator is written in ordinal numbers. 2 by 3, 2 thirds. 3 by 6, 3 six. 4 by 7, 4 sevenths. 
6 by 6, 6 sixths. Here are the fractions and we have to write them in words. So the first one is 2 by 4. 2 will be written as it is and 4 will be written as fourth. So while writing the name we will write it as 2 fourth. 2 by 3 will be written as 2 third. 3 by 8 will be written as 3 eighth. 6 by 8 will be written as 6 eighth. 1 by 2 will always be written as 1 half. 5 by 8 will be written as 5 eighths. Hope the concept is clear to you. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Do practice sums and you will master the concept. Thank you.